A song is composed of four main layers. The lyrics, or the words that you sing, the melody, the main notes you sing or play, the harmony, or the chords that support the melody, and the rhythm, which is the movement of the music through time. Sometimes a song might emphasize only some of these layers, like rap, for example, may focus on the lyrics and the rhythm, while classical music may highlight the melody and the harmony, and New Age ambient might delve into the rhythm, harmony, and melody without any lyrics at all. So you can combine these layers in different ways to create different sounds, which is cool. But two of the most interrelated layers are the melody and the harmony, because both stem from the same source, which is the underlying scale or mode of a song. And much of music theory focuses on this special connection. To show you what I mean, let's look at the major scale, which is the most common source pattern for songs. The major scale, like this C major scale, sounds nice on its own. And these notes sound so good together that we can rearrange them in different ways, repeating some notes or skipping others to compose melodies like this. But if all we had was the melody, then the music would start to sound a little thin or wispy. So to flesh things out and add some weight to the music, songwriters usually add a chord progression or a harmony as well. And it so happens that the harmony, like the melody, is also derived from the same source scale. But instead of rearranging the notes freely, like in a melody, chords are built through a more formal structure of what are called tertian intervals. The word tertian is just Latin for thirds, meaning the notes in a chord are spaced by intervals of a major third or minor third. And it's easy to build these chords because all you have to do is combine every other note of the underlying scale to form all the chords in a key. For example, starting on the first note of the C major scale, and then combining every other note, we get C, E, and G, which are all separated by tertian intervals to make the C major chord. Then starting on the second note of the scale, these notes are all separated by an interval of a third as well, D, F, and A, to make the D minor chord. And then we can go up the line and play all chords separated by intervals of a third. And because these chords and the melody stem from the same source pattern, from the underlying major scale, they sound good together when we combine them into a song like this.